this is a very strong, maybe the strongest, how about that, maybe the strongest presidential message for Tage. Hello, Tage. This is, uh, this is your president. And notice I said, president. I didn't say former president, ex-president. The way they disgusting, dishonest, fake news. They're so dishonest. They're so nasty and so dishonest. Nobody's ever been treated more unfairly than me. And they call me a former president. They know. They know I won more votes than anybody. And it wasn't even close. But that's okay. We're not here to talk about me right now. We're here because Uncle Bob and Aunt Jill, very good people, strong people, they came up to your president. And they were very emotional, very emotional. They got, you know, you could almost see their tears in their eyes because they were, you know, you know, they were just, they were meeting the greatest president they've ever had. Anybody maybe has ever had. And they said, sir, sir. And I said, yes, Uncle Bob, Aunt Jill, how can I help you? They said, sir, we just were wondering if you could possibly reach out to Tage. He's in high school and he loves politics, very strong into politics, sir. And just wish him a happy new year and maybe some strong advice, sir, on how he could maybe be even close, even close, even in the same, you know, within a mile of your political talent, sir. That would be so great. And what a wonderful way to start the year, sir. Please, sir. And they said, sir, so many times. And I knew, Tage, that these were people with great respect, great patriotism, if they were reaching out to me. Because notice you're not getting a message from... Sleepy Joe, no, 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 he doesn't even know how to work a smartphone or do apps. He thinks apps are what you get before the main course. He doesn't even know what a smartphone is, probably because he's not too smart. And Hussein Obama, okay, also not doing this. They knew to come to me. They knew to come to me, Tage. And I think it's important that you got to realize there's a lot that goes into being a strong person in politics, and I'm the strongest, so I should know. And the first thing that they say is that you should take care of your sister Kieran in 2024 because obviously family is very important but what's even more important than family is not having nasty family members talk trash about you. I have a niece. I don't like her too much. She's a real beauty though. Mary Trump writes books about me. Very nasty. Says nasty things about me. Now I'll admit when I was younger I didn't I wasn't as nice to her. And then, of course, when I become president, she saved that up like a nasty person and said very mean things about me. So you should take care of your sister because it's good family. But it's even more important than family. It's good politics. Because when you when you run for office, you want Karen to be very nice to you and say nice things. And if you're mean now, she'll remember. If she's nasty, she'll remember and she'll say awful things about you. So be nice to your sister because it's good for family and it's good for politics. And I know that you, I'm told that you love Legos. And as somebody who's built many big buildings, I can tell you right now, it starts with Legos. Legos are a great way to start kind of looking at building things and doing strong things, uh, you know, on a smaller level. And if you have to steal other people's Legos to do so, I think that's also a good lesson that they should be more careful with their Legos. And if they're not careful with their Legos, then maybe they don't deserve them and Obviously, that means you should be careful with your Legos because what I'm telling you now may not have anything to do with politics, but I'm teaching you how to be a strong family person and a strong business person. And those are the foundations of what made me so great at politics. I never ran, ran for anything. I never even ran for a bus, let alone office. And yet, first time I ran, I won, and I won so big, they got scared and they stole the second time I won. So I would say build a foundation of strong business and strong family relations and then when you want to get into politics, <clears throat> the radical left, okay, everybody wants all these, they go to the colleges and they, they recruit all the radical left people. And everybody wants to get, oh, I want to be with Obama. I want to be with Biden. But guess what? The people not at college love Trump. And what I would recommend to you is when you go to school, when you go to college, be very pro-Trump, be very pro mega because there'll only be like 10 people at that meeting. And if you can beat those 10 people, you become the leader of the MAGA movement at your school. While there'll be like 500 radical left people fighting for like scraps at the radical left meeting where they hate America and also don't get positions of power. So I think you have to be very pro-MAGA, pro-business and pro-family. And if you do those three things, you know, we'll have a strong, I mean, We'll have strong internships for you. If you go to law school, Clarence Thomas and Samuel Alito will hire you. There's, no, there's very little competition to move fast 
for the right wing. So I would say as soon as you get out of high school, form like a strong Republican group, very pro-Trump though. You don't want to be like a Mitt Romney group. And then join the club in your college, take over leadership there. And then there's going to be so many Republicans looking to hire you and you'll move very quickly, very quickly through the ranks. And by the time you're 30, I'll be in my, I don't know, fifth term as president and we'll have a beautiful spot for strong, very strong, conservative people who've worked hard on their Legos, who've taken care of their sister so she doesn't say nasty things. And you could rise very quickly in the fifth or sixth term of a Trump presidency. So, and the last thing I'm going to say is your name is Tage, and I'm sure people make jokes about rage, how it rhymes with rage, but I'm going to tell you right now, I want to see rage, okay? In fact, when you come work for me in 12 to 15 years, I want you to change your name to, to rage, because then people will know not to mess with you. So right now, it's sort of undercover. Oh, it's Tage. He's a nice guy. Tage, there's no rage there. Oh, but when you rise through the ranks and show your strength in business... Family and politics, we're switching it to rage. Republican rage, that's what they're going to call you, and it's great branding, and that's the part where I can come help you. After all this, I'll finish it off with strong branding. Republican rage, that's what it'll say on your posters as you run for Senate and become my protege. And I think that's, I, I don't know if anybody's ever gotten a better New Year's gift than this. 15 to 20 years, you'll be my protege during my seventh term in office. So good luck. Uncle Bob and Aunt Jill, they want you to have a great New Year. And I think this is no better way to guarantee you have a great New Year than starting it off with a strong, powerful presidential message. So good luck. Happy New Year. And let's bring the rage, Tage.